Alright, hey guys, I woke up about a half hour ago, and I had started recording the video for you. Unfortunately, my asshole cat, Ted, thought it'd be funny to constantly walk in front of my monitor, push into my wall, and sniff out my coffee, and walk along my keyboard, and he ended up hitting the button to cancel the recording on me, so I lost it. And I didn't really do all that much other than just babble on anyways like I'm going to do in this one, so... Yeah, so... Um, this is my all I'm just gonna start working on very limited spare time since I'm still working on my main and I made it last night just so I had something to do. Um, so it's Rays, the eye is silent. Um, it's my Asura Engineer, level three. Um so on my main doing my storyline quest I completed I'm in the vigil out of the uh, Order of Whisper Order of Whispers in the Derman Priory. I've completed my initiation. I have 20% of the map completion in. I don't do PvP, so these two aren't going to be unlocked for quite a while. Um, so, yeah, this is my main. His name is Terragam. He's level 41. He's a char, and he's a ranger. Actually, funny story is he's based off my Worgen Hunter back in World of Warcraft. Um, that was the name of Morza. Unfortunately, the name was already taken, so I named him Terragam instead, and decided to name my pet Orza, as you can see. So, the zone I'm in is called Blaze Ridge Mountain. It's a 40 to 50 zone. I am currently level 41, about to be 42, and again, as I said, my um, cat walked over my keyboard and knocked off my original recording, so I was explaining vistas and um, points of interest. So right now I'm working on this task right here. A the Legion and Ebenvard, Eben Vanguard soldiers against ogres. We destroy ogre supplies and flag sands, prevent brawls between char and humans, help patrols combat ogres, and revive fallen allies. So I'm just gonna kill some random stuff and I gotta find some enemies to kill, some more mosquitoes, and an armadillo just to kill for the hell of it. Survive this guy. He's dead. There's another dead guy over there. These people die a lot. They're fairly useless NPCs. There's a scale blighter. So there's these weird um and um amphibian reptile things that I don't really know. They're scales. Let's just kill one. No. So, I mean character wise, I uh, I'm actually fairly broke. Very broke. Considering I spent my money on racial gear, which is actually a horrible idea until you're level 80, I assume, because it becomes useless at level 40 anyways, so by the time I complete this task, I'll probably have something to replace one of these items. Not this, though. This is not racial. Um, so I lost two gold on that, and then when I hit 41, at 40, I needed to buy my new manual to put more trait points in. So... My trait lining is better. I had to use my other gold for that. So I'm completely broke. Spare some karma for getting gear when I complete tasks, which I'm losing. I'm going to start losing as fast as I can make it because you only get them from... As you can see, I'm the only one on the guild. Looks like we lost two members last night when I line off. Oh well. Um. So, yeah, so, um... Skills and traits. You only get it from completing achievements and, well, the daily achievement set list at least. Did he just kill over and die? Like, nothing even killed him. He just had a heart attack. Damn. Had a heart attack and died. Um, so, yeah, so you just complete these dailies and you get, um, some items and usually about, like, 4,500 karma. So, you get to spend that on gear when you complete tasks for your character, and gear-wise, it doesn't really matter what you have, except when you have actual choices. So, you should just take whatever you can get in this game and just keep using it. Um, just so, yeah, just use what you can get, and if you have choices, you should go with what you prefer, I mean... Um, Power is really good, precision is for crit, but I was told not to worry about crit all too much as of yet. 
unless I am going to put my trait linings into more bleeding, and then I worry about precision and condition damage, and plus condition damage means it'll make your attacks, I think, last, or do more damage, but I don't think, I don't think it makes you last longer or anything. So all I gotta do is just keep killing stuff until the task is complete, and that's that yellow bar over here. That's how close I am. It shows me where my task is down here. It's the mini map. As you can see I'm right here in Swinter Hills. I do have auto loot on because just how I play makes everything that much simpler. Fucking trees. Yeah. I like to be in my way. Um. Again, I love how you guys have played Rangers before, I'm sure someone might eventually see this video who plays a Ranger, and... I mean, I don't really think there's any... I think they said there's no, like, correct way to play, so everything's just based off on how you like it, but... The separate skills I have is a Shrapnel Mine, and this actually takes out a fair chunk of enemy health when I throw it, and it cripples them, so if I pull aggro, I can at least back away. I use Signet of Stone on my pet when he is in trouble. While I'm waiting, either while I'm waiting for my troll engine to um, refresh or get off its cooldown, so my pet can stop taking damage for a couple of seconds, and then I use sharpening stones, usually on bigger enemies, so I can tear them down faster, since it makes them bleed for my next five hits. And then for my elite skill, I have warband support, so I can call in my warband from early in, on in the game, except. You don't get your actual warband, you just get a couple of Iron Legion Marksmen, you get two of them, and they just come in. One's melee, and the other one uses a gun, so... They just sit there and bash your target for you for about 30 seconds, and then they leave, and you have a 4 minute cooldown on it, so... I really only use it in major fights. Um, so, yeah, as a ranger, I'm using a longbow, it makes the most sense, it's probably the strongest thing. And it surprises me that a ranger can't use rifles or pistols. It would seem so. So I guess killing those rock dogs aren't doing anything. So I need to find something else to kill. I need to find ogres. I don't really know where ogres are. Uh, I can follow the road, but if I go too far out of my way, the challenge is going to disappear. So I'm assuming it's back on the other side of this bridge. Oh, there's a flag stand. I can get rid of this. That'll help. So, when I was like seven, no, oh God. Um, when I was seven, I went to New York with my aunt once, and I met a hobo, and he had cats, like, he had literal two kittens with him, and we decided to feed him, but we didn't feed his cats, or no, we fed his cats, not him. We left him like four bucks or something, but I just found it ironic that we did that instead of actually giving the poor man some real food. But, you know, we, we helped his cats out instead, because they deserve it more, apparently, in our eyes. I don't know, looking back on it, I, mean, I was seven, and it seems kind of cruel and mean now, but... Then I thought it was a really nice gesture when we bought cat food for his pets, and... I don't know. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um... Pet refuses to keep aggro still sometimes. I mean, it's better now, but when I'm in bigger fights, he likes to let all the bigger enemies just rape me violently and just watches. And it's not very fair to me. I don't like being raped. So let's revive this guy right here. I'm still reviving him. I'm still reviving him. I'm still reviving him. Alright, yeah, he's revived. This guy has said, let's do it. He wants to get it on with me, I see. But uh, um, I'm not into humans, I'm into char. Not quite literally, but I'm sure my char character doesn't want to have sex with a human, especially a male human for that matter. But I, I like uh, Barrage. It, after you cast it, it does constant damage still, and it stays fairly strong with that. So, usually it takes about half an enemy's health. But in, multi-combat, and it works fairly well, and I really do like using it when I can. Um, 
point blank shot just pushes the target back, so I usually use that when they're getting close, when I feel like it. Well, just to keep range, because the longer, the more distance between you and your target, the more damage your the gods arrows will do. Rapid fire shoots multiple arrows. I usually I use that usually right after I use hunter's shot, which makes them vulnerable, which makes me do more damage when I shoot them, so it's a nice thing to have. Actually, usually I'll cast hunter's shot, then point blank shot, then rapid fire. And then I'll usually have knocked down the health about 50% on fairly stronger targets like rock dogs, and then, I don't know, either they're stronger or I'm really weak. Actually, no, I keep using point blank shot first, I usually get into range faster. And I throw my shrapnel mine, pushes them down a fair bit, triples them and bleeds them a little bit so they take some damage. Usually all of that kills them fast. I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, so, yeah, just gotta keep killing things and reviving all these dead people because they apparently can't do anything for their lives other than die constantly. And my pet likes to run through the middle of enemies and it's just sitting there getting hit. He feels like it. See that? That was a really strong ass hit. Thank the gods you can took out just about half of his health in one shot. So let's open up with barrage. Give him some damage. They seem to be running away still. I, use, I, I like using point blank shot. Allows me to keep every enemy at range so I don't have to deal with them. Because once they're up close, I have to keep kiting them, and it's not fun to have to keep kiting because it makes that it makes skills that much harder to use. Is if you're not centered on them properly, then I'll be halfway through a rapid fire and I'll stop casting, regardless of me hitting a key or anything. It'll just stop because I'm in the middle of something, and it just doesn't like letting me do anything when I'm in the middle of stuff. So. Keeping them at range is the best I can. The best thing I can do. So, I mean, I don't mind starting off with aggro on me as long as my pet decides to pick it up. It usually picks it up fairly fast now. And he's staying fairly strong. I mean, he's got a load of vitality for an Arctidus. And an Arctidus is a wolf-bear hybrid. So he's half wolf, half bear, so he gets, like, the vitality of a bear. Actually, he has bear attacks, but... He remains... F I believe he's stronger than a bear because of his wolf bit. Just just look at that little face. Look, look how cute he is. He's just gonna eat you. I'm he's got murder on his eyes. Oh, and I leveled up to 43 off that. Which is... No, 42, my bad. So now I'm level 42. I check my mail, collect my kern. Um... There are two dungeons. I might do another video of me doing one of the dungeon runs, probably Ascalon Catacombs, Ascalonian Catacombs, because it's um a level 30 dungeon, but it's a lot harder to complete at lower levels because you know your gear and everything scales down, your power and everything scales down too. So if you have more power, you get a little bit more when you're scaled down, but not still not a lot, not like a really good amount. But you know, even every, even though everything's scaled down, it's still nice to be better geared and have a little bit more understanding. I've done two runs of it, about level 30, and they both went pretty badly. So, if I do a run later, I'll probably post another video of me just doing lousy commentary over that too, and this is called Decus Manor. It's a level 40 dungeon. I haven't even attempted to get a group for that yet. And there's no such thing as a holy trinity in this game, so everything is just done on idealistics. So you just run a group, and basically all you really do is just sit there and take damage, and Hope to God you don't die, that he dies, someone revives you before you die out completely. And if you die out completely, someone still revives you. I want to put more points into skirmishing. I want to get my furious grip so my... Uh, I don't really switch weapons, actually, so it seems kind of pointless, but... These, um... Every ten levels you get, you can put on these little, um... Bonuses that really help you, and... This really works because, I mean, my crit chance is still fairly low. It's only 26%, but when I get a higher crit, like, I'm, I should go up to about 50. I've heard usually just about every other shot will probably make them bleed, and it'll help kill enemies a lot faster. 
Report ends. So let's see what I have. So 11 vitality, 16 condition damage. This is my Ebon Hawk Ceasefire Agreement of Vigor. But I want the green version because, ironically, in this game, green is better than blue. Unlike most games, I believe, where blue is always rare and green is un uh, uncommon. Green is masterwork and blue is um, fine. And then there's... I've seen... I've had it one yellow before my character, but I got it for the holiday thing because I started my game while they were still running the holiday event. And so I had that, but I had to get rid of it because that um, this back piece right here is better. Um, so yeah, green is better, so I'm going to buy this, even though it takes a lot of karma. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really affect me. So, as you can see, level 40, my gear is just about even still. So about 42, alright, so maybe he isn't 40, it's like 41, 42, I'll probably end up getting something at just about the same sense, and I don't really mind the nuggets that are in there, because I usually can get those to drop, they're not rare, and they don't drop uncommonly, let's look at this sword, it's a pretty basic sword, it looks like a rapier actually, no, not really, um, eh, it's a really long sword, shields are, a lot of the stuff in this game is so basic, like, they don't really have much Dismissed. interesting, intricate designings back on them. So let's replace that. Actually, it should have given me more vitality. But my health seems to remain the same. Yeah, so it doesn't really change my health or anything, honestly. I don't know. I, mean, I get more condition damage, so when I put bleed on my targets, they'll take more damage. This can't be sold. Actually, a lot of things you get quest-wise stuff can't be sold. Only rare drops, or not rare drops, just the occasional drop. And I could have... Uh, and you can't Until salvage them either, which also sucks, so... Seems like a bit of a mini-waste. Because once you have the item and it's gone two levels later, you just wasted karma, basically, but... What are you gonna do about it? All you can really do is just keep getting karma. Alright, so, you know, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to my horrible voice and horrible commentary, and if you like the video, I'll do more, so, you know, thanks for watching.